Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. This is Shridhar Ayer. So let me give you a walk through of what this mini series will be based on. After a wave of huge positive response uh, on my previous course on creating interactive e-learning content, I am highly motivated to bring forward this uh, upcoming course, or you can say this upcoming mini series on creating a virtual ecosystem where we can improve our teaching and learning experience with the use of freely available learning management systems. I'm going to focus on few of the learning management systems such as Google Classroom, the most popular one, then uh, Moodle, which is also an open source learning management system and few other learning management systems available on the internet. So this introductory video is all about how to create an account on Google Classroom. So let's see how we can get started on Google Classroom just with the use of a single Google account. This uh, course will be highly beneficial for all the teachers who are uh, trying to adapt themselves to the uh, increasing challenges of virtual learning with the help of online teaching materials, uh, PPTs, presentations, animations. You might have already uh, seen my previous course on creating interactive e-learning content. If not, then kindly check uh, the link above. You can visit that particular playlist and watch the entire uh, series of videos where I have discussed how we can create interactive e-learning content which will definitely help us create beautiful uh, teaching and learning experience for our students and also for us. So let me introduce you all to this course. This course is basically all about getting started with the various learning management systems available in the market, either free or paid or even trial versions. Basically, I'm going to focus on the free ones first and if possible, I will also try to focus on few of the paid versions available in the market. So basically this video will be based on the introduction of the most popular learning management system which is called as Google Classroom. The teachers uh, watching this video might be well aware of what Google Classroom is. They, uh, they would like to learn more about what are the various advantages, what are the various features of Google Classroom. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The very first thing you need to do is open a web browser and type in this URL that is classroom.google.com this is what opens up it's a very simple kind of an interface you need to log in with your email id in my case i am already having this email id of my institution so i will simply create a new email id new google classroom for you i have this account created just for the purpose of showing you this demo this is a temporary email id which i have created just uh, Log in with the Gmail ID you are having. After logging in, you have to go to this URL, very simple, classroom.google.com and type continue and press continue. So this is how the interface looks like. You have no classes uh, yet. You would like to add your own class to the Google Classroom or the virtual classroom. The very first thing you can do is click on this plus button on the top right corner. With the help of this, you can create or join a class. Join, uh, if you are a student then you would require this uh, class code to join a class and if you are a faculty or a teacher then you would require to click on this create class button and then few notices and few terms and conditions from Google will appear click on this I have read and understood the above notice and click on continue once you are done it will ask you to enter a class name for example, uh, let me uh, give a class name for this particular video course. It could be the section. You can keep it blank if you wish. For example, cl uh, classes may have sections A, B, C or D. You may wish to keep it blank. Then subject, uh, it's up to you. For example, I may give a, a short name. What exactly you can do is, if you are having a class, for example, you are creating this class for a school. So what you can do is, you can put the class name over here. Class name could be 9th, uh, 9th 10th, 11th, whatever. In my case, I am not uh, teaching a class. I am creating this video for a course. So I have written course on learning management system. I can simply copy it and paste it in the subject section as well. Room, I can keep blank. If, for example, uh, if you are creating this uh, Google Classroom to replicate your actual physical classroom which may have a room for example room number 10108A or 110B you can put in that room over here in my case it is nothing it's only virtual so I will keep it blank 
next is after you are done filling every details just click on create it will take some time hardly a minute or two and then your google classroom will be set up for you this will be your virtual classroom using which you will get an admission to your virtual ecosystem for teaching and learning so that's how we create a classroom virtually in google classroom so i hope you like this video this was just an introductory video in my successive videos i'm going to show you how you could explore your google classroom how you could add activities how you can link or integrate your google classroom with all other learning management systems available in the market and that's all what we are going to learn in the next set of videos so stay tuned to my channel give your feedback subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed if you like this video kindly share it with your friends colleagues students etc so that they can even benefit out of it thank you so much stay connected Thank you.